Good morning, everyone. Um, please be seated. Our students are problem solvers. <laughs> it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our graduate recognition ceremony. At this ceremony, we pay tribute to the accomplishments of our most distinguished students earning graduate degrees this year. The graduate students we honor today have met the highest academic standards in our most challenging degree programs. They were selected by their program, their department, school, and college faculty to receive the Graduate Student Distinguished Achievement Award. This award, the highest we give to graduate students, is based not just on grade point average or test scores, but also upon exceptional academic accomplishments, including publications, inventions, creative work, and outstanding exhibits and performances. These students have also served the university by participating and engaging as leaders in student and professional organizations. Our very best students are those who give the most back to the community through distinguished contributions in formal internships and field placements and through volunteer work and service. In their interactions with faculty and fellow students, they have demonstrated cooperation and helpfulness by tutoring and mentoring others, embodying the highest ideals of professionalism and, <clears throat> excuse me, and collegiality San Francisco State University takes great pride in the achievements of these excellent students. So please join me in applauding them. <laughs> Representatives of the university community are here to join in this celebration and you will meet many of them as the ceremony continues. But before we proceed, I would like to introduce the following representatives of the faculty and members of the platform party. So if they would please stand as I call their name and please hold your applause until all are introduced. Professor Nancy Gerber of our chemistry and biochemistry department is chair of the academic senate. She has provided extraordinary faculty leadership in this demanding and challenging role. Our marshals leading the students into the theater were Professor Teaster Baird, chair of our chemistry and biochemistry department, Professor Sheldon Jen of our public administration program, and Professor Sanjoy Banerjee of our international business program, and Professor Russell Jung, chair of our Asian American studies department. Leading the faculty into the theater were our faculty marshals, Professor Ellen Hines of our Geography and Interdisciplinary Marine and Estuarine Sciences Program, Professor Julie Paulson of our English Department, Pro Professor Gerald Shapiro, Director of our School of Social Work, and Professor Maria del Rosario Zavala of our Elementary Ed Department. And on the platform, I want to recognize Denny Glassman, our Associate Vice President and Dean of Students, and Deborah Masters, our University Librarian. <clears throat> and now, probably that. it is now my pleasure to introduce to you the University Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Jennifer Summit.
Thank you, President Wong. Our ceremony today provides an opportunity to acknowledge the importance of graduate programs here at San Francisco State University. A master's degree or professional doctorate has become increasingly necessary for success in most academic and professional areas. The speed of change in the job market increases the demand for adaptable, well-educated professionals with advanced skills. Graduate education rewards the virtue of curiosity and expands the boundaries of knowledge. San Francisco State is committed to access in graduate education. It also transforms the disciplines by supporting the careers of students who are underrepresented in doctoral study and the professions. Our division of graduate studies is one of the largest and most distinguished in the CSU system. Here are some highlights. According to a study sponsored by the National Science Foundation, San Francisco State ranks fourth nationally among master's level colleges and universities for the total number of graduates who go on to receive research doctorates. San Francisco State's graduate history and cinema programs send more students into PhD programs than any other master's granting comprehensive university in the country. U.S. News and World Report consistently ranks the doctoral program in physical therapy, which is offered jointly with the University of California at San Francisco, among the top physical therapy programs in the country and first among public universities in California. Other graduate programs listed among the best in the United States by U.S. News and World Report include art, communicative disorders, rehabilitation counseling, social work, and public administration. Our creative writing, cinema, broadcast and electronic communication arts, philosophy, museum studies, computer science, psychology, and business programs are nationally recognized and draw top applicants from around the globe. Graduate students seeking degrees in the field of science develop their skills in the Conservation Genetics Laboratory, the Estuary and Ocean Science Center, Center, the Cell and Molecular Imaging Center, the Fields Herbarium, and the, sealed, the Sierra Nevada Field Campus. This is just a sample of our highly regarded graduate programs, which include 95 master's degree programs, the doctorate in educational leadership, and two doctoral programs offered jointly with the University of California. Faculty members who contribute to graduate education are outstanding teachers and scholars who compose music, publish novels, explore the natural world, train our educators and health practitioners, and solve urban, social, and economic problems. Students from countries all over the world compete for acceptance into some of our graduate programs. Alumni who have earned their master's and doctoral degrees from this campus have distinguished themselves nationally and internationally. In addition, we are confident that you, our graduate honorees, will take your place among these distinguished graduates. With us today are students who have been, who've been admitted to doctoral programs at the University of Oregon, the University of Minnesota, Washington University, the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and Science, Arizona State University, and the University of California at Berkeley, Davis, Irvine, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, among many others. Also with us are students who have assumed positions in businesses and industry, published books, stories, poetry and articles, exhibited artwork, and won international design competitions. They have served as advocates for the powerless members of our society and taken leadership roles in community organizations, including museum boards, health and environmental agencies, and public schools. The students recognized today are already making an impact on our world, and we anticipate eagerly the contributions that they will make in the future of their chosen fields. It is a privilege for me to join with the college deans in presenting the 2019 Graduate Distinguished Awards recipients. <laughs> 
And now, the Dean of Graduate Studies, Sophie Clavier, will introduce the deans of the colleges, who will, in turn, introduce their faculty and then present the recipients of the Graduate Student Distinguished Achievement Award. Dean Clavier. Thank you, Provost Summit. I am very pleased to introduce to you the deans of the colleges who will present their honored students for hooding. Please hold your applause until they are all introduced. Will you please stand as I introduce each of you? Yim Yu Wong, Dean of the College of Business. Cynthia Kratzik, Dean of the Graduate College of Education. Amy Suyoshi, Dean of the College of Ethnic Studies. Alvin Alvarez, Dean of the College of Health and Social Sciences. Troy Carlton, Associate Dean of the College of Liberal and Creative Arts. Carmen Domingo, Dean of the College of Science and Engineering. Please join me in acknowledging the Dean of the Colleges. Thank you. Thank you, please be seated. So today's students, faculty, the platform party are all dressed in academic regalia. This morning, this links us to traditions dating back to the Middle Ages in Europe, when medieval scholars wore long gowns and hoods like those worn by the clergy. The story says that such garbs also provided warmth in non-heated buildings. I'll let you laugh for that. Nowadays, um, our velvet hoods reflect the distinctive colors of our institution, purple and gold. In addition, master's degree hoods are edged at San Francisco State in the following colors. Light brown for the College of Business, light blue for the College of Education, crimson for the College of Ethnic Studies, gold for the College of Health and Social Sciences, apricot for the School of Nursing, and white for the College of Liberal and Creative Arts, and finally gold for the College of Science and Engineering. By placing the hood on the candidate, we will proclaim that the graduate has joined the company of scholars recognized throughout the world. So now the deans of our six colleges will introduce faculty representative and will present the recipients of the Graduate Student Distinguished Achievement Awards as well as the student from each college who has been selected for special recognition by the college faculty. Let me invite Dean Wong to the podium. Thank you, Dean Clavier. Good morning. I will introduce the faculty representing the College of Business Please hold your applause until I introduce all the faculty. The faculty members representing the colleges are, please stand as I call your name, Sally Bak, Management, Jun Hong Kim, Accounting, Shang Li Lin, Finance, John Logan, Labor and Employment Studies, Sanjay Singh Gupta, Marketing, Nasser Sarasby, Information Systems, Sadat Shorapanth, Decision Sciences, Lisa Takeyama, Economics, Nini Yang, International Business, Sibo Yang, Hospitality and Tourism Management. <laughs> you may be seated. The students receiving the Distinguished Achievement Award in the College of Business are Thank you. Brian McCaffrey, Master of Business Administration. Brian's final project analyzes Modest LLC, a small wireless telecommunications company helping them assess their strategic environment and determine the source of their competitive advantage. Brian was a partic participant in the SF Fellows Program, as well as in the 2017 Google Online Marketing Challenge. Congratulations, Brian.
Kelly Richmond, Master of Business Administration. Kelly's strategic analysis of Kimpton hotels and restaurants focuses on means to enjoy a long-term and sustainable competitive advantage in the hotel and restaurant industry. Kelly volunteers for several charities, and she planned, coordinated, and ran a large benefit for the 2017 North Bay Fire Victims. Thank you. Congratulations. Camaria Rutland, Master of Business Administration. Camaria's final project offers strategic recommendations for the De Beers corporations by reviewing the disruptor of synthetic diamonds entering the market and addressing pivots in the consumer behavior. Camaria is active in the community and administers an NUHS family scholarship established in her grandmother's honor. Thank you. Michelle Marie Lasano Tuggy, Master of Business Administration with an emphasis on information systems. Michelle's project explores Netflix business strategies, utilizing analytic frameworks and tools to understand their competitive advantage. Michelle belongs to the BGS Honor Society and received a Technical Implementation Excellence Award for prototyping a mobile app aimed at reducing campus food waste, and providing easy access to food for students. Congratulations. Jay Zhang, Master of Science in Accountancy. Jay's final project concludes that current defined benefit pension plans lack transparency for their users and offers practical recommendations for improvement. Jay is the Director of Community Service for Beta Alpha Psi, is very active in the graduate students in accounting association and often volunteers as an income tax preparer. Congratulations, Jay. Thank you. Yeah. It's my pleasure to acknowledge the student who has been selected by the faculty of the College of Business for special recognition, Bozita Teodorov Chekhalov, Master of Arts in Economics. Mr. Chekhalov began developing his expertise in economics as an undergraduate. His current studies merit that focus with a long-standing interest in healthcare. During his tenure with the university, Bobby has served as a tutor, grader, and research assistant in the economics department. He served as a graduate mentor to the Economic Student Association. He has also taught with the Health Equity Institute's Big Data Summer Program, which trains students to conduct data analysis in social science and health-related fields. Bobby currently works as a research assistant for Dr. Moderick in the Health Equity Institute. And he has co-authored research with Moderick, characterizing public discourse in the early conversation of the hashtag MeToo movement. Their content-based research summarizes and classifies novel tweets to demonstrate how the mass sharing of personal experiences of sexual abuse and assault contributed to the reach of this movement. His findings were presented at several conferences and are currently under review with the Journal of Medical Internet Research. Mr. Chekolev 
plans to continue building his research skills in preparation for pursuing a PhD in economics with an emphasis in health. Please join me in applauding Bosida Teodorov Chekalov. Good morning, everyone. I will introduce the faculty representing the Graduate College of Education. Please hold your applause until I introduce all the faculty. The faculty members representing the Graduate College of Education are, and you may stand as I call your name, Josie Arce, Elementary Education, Yvonne Bowie, Special Education, Deborah Curtis, Equity Leadership Studies and Instructional Technologies, Pat Donahue, Equity Leadership Studies and Instructional Technologies. Doris Flowers, Equity Leadership Studies and Instructional Technologies. Andrea Goldfein, Education Leadership Doctoral Program. David Hemphill, Equity Leadership Studies and Instructional Technologies. Barbara Henderson, Educational Leadership Doctoral Program. Larry Horvath, Secondary Education. Mina Kim, Elementary Education. Judith Kish, Secondary Education. Minye Lee, Equity Leadership Studies and Instructional Technologies. Marissa Mitch, Special Education. Irina Okremchuk, Equity Leadership Studies and Instructional Technologies. Mary Requa, Special Education. Betty Yu, Speech Language Hearing Sciences. Anne Maria Del Rosario Zavala. Elementary education. You may be seated. The students receiving the Distinguished Achievement Award in the Graduate College of, the Graduate College of Education are Flordellen Aroco Castillo. Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in elementary education. Ms. Castillo's final project was a year-long self-study of seventh grade literacy instruction, examining the impact of culturally relevant young adult novels on student engagement, reading fluency, and depth of comprehension. Congratulations, Flordellen. Isabel Craik, Master of Science in Communicative Disorders. Ms. Craik's thesis examines how peer facilitation of personal narratives young, among young adults who benefit from augmentative and alternative communication supports their overall communication and social development. Congratulations, Isabel. Thank you. Lacey Dickinson, Education Specialist Credential with a concentration in Early Childhood Special Education. Ms. Dickinson has consistently demonstrated dedication to supporting the learning and development of all young children, including those with disabilities, through strong advocacy and commitment to meaningfully partnering with families. Congratulations, Lacey. Landon Hill, Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership. 
Dr. Hill's dissertation examines how African-American middle school students make sense of the different language practices they must utilize across various academic and social contexts with implications for English language instructional practices. Congratulations, Dr. Hill. Cassandra Nicole Lane, Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in Educational Administration. Ms. Lane's culminating project examines the effect of district reclassification policies on intersectional students classified as both English language and special education learners. Cassie's research has been recognized by the California and American Educational Associations. Congratulations, Cassandra. Thank you. Jeffrey Larson, Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in Instructional Technologies. Mr. Larson's culminating project in immersive augmented media instruction defines a model for equity-based learning in virtual realities. Congratulations, Jeffrey. Thank you. Rosemary Medeiros, Master of Arts in Elementary Education with a concentration in Early Childhood Education. Ms. Medeiros' research explored methods of challenging binary gender notions in the school community, empowering young children to fight gender inequi inequities, and demonstrating this topic's relevance to parents and staff. Congratulations, Rosemary. Lindsay Miller, Mask, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologies. Lindsay Miller, Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in secondary education. Ms. Miller's research examines the role of professional development in chemistry teacher readiness to implement new high school curriculum aligned with the next generation science standards. Congratulations, Lindsay. Rebecca Moore, single subject credential in secondary education general science. Ms. Moore's pedagogical and content knowledge in biology and creative inquiry oriented lesson plans have engaged and piqued the curiosity of her Lincoln High School students. Congratulations, Rebecca. Suchetta Sanadi, Master of Arts in Special Education with a concentration in mild to moderate disabilities. While completing her degree requirements, Ms. Sanadi volunteered with school-aged children with disabilities in inclusive classrooms. Suchetta recently obtained a position as a special education teacher working with fourth and fifth grade students. Congratulations, Suchetta. Quinn Blanca Solis, Master of Arts in Education with a Special Interest Concentration. 
Quinn conducted a qualitative research study at SF State investigating ways in which transgender students of color build resilience in navigating post-secondary education. Congratulations, Quinn. Elizabeth Tate Wade, Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in equity and social justice. Tate's thesis proposes an identity development curriculum for independent schools that avoids the shortcomings of traditional multicultural education and helps students develop a nuanced understanding of social issues, positive identity development, and an action orientation. Congratulations, Tate. It is my pleasure to acknowledge the student who has been selected by the faculty of the Graduate College of Education for special recognition, Jennifer Levine Smith, Master of Arts in Education with a concentration in equity and social justice in education. <laughs> Ms. Levine Smith's thesis explores factors that impact a rural community's grassroots efforts to affect discriminatory practices within their school district. She utilizes a critical ethnography to examine efforts to influence the district to end its segregation of Latinx and bilingual students and to work with it to promote socially just education. A change maker within and outside the academy, Jenny serves as graduate student liaison for the American Educational Research Association's School Turnaround and Reform Special Interest Group and is a founding editor of the Department of Equity, Leadership Studies, and Instructional Technologies student-led rewriting education newsletter. With a long record of conference presentations and co-authored articles, her recent Web of Reclassification for English Language Learners has been selected as a feature article of the Journal of Educational Leadership and Administration. Jenny has been an asset to the university, not least for fostering productive cross-departmental collaborations she will certainly continue to be an exceptional educator, working alongside minoritized students and families to disrupt systems of marginalization and advocate for practices that respect students' humanity and affords them an environment supportive of their strengths. Please join me in congratulating Jennifer Levine Smith. Good morning, everyone. I will now introduce the faculty representing the College of Ethnic Studies. Please hold your applause until I introduce all the faculty. The faculty members representing the College of Ethnic Studies are, please stand up as I call your name, Weiming Dariotis, Asian American Studies, Katinka Martinez, Latina Latino Studies, Russell Jung, Asian American Studies, Catriona Rueda Esquivel, Africana Studies and the Associate Dean, Ananta Sudakar, Asian American Studies. Please be seated. The students receiving the Distinguished Achievement Award in the College of Ethnic Studies are Sun Hae Moon, Master of Arts in Ethnic Studies. Ms. Moon's original research offers a critique of the status of daycare workers who are mainly women of color and proposes reforming the value accorded to their contributions to early childhood development. This research has earned her admission to UC Davis's PhD program in education. Congratulations.
Philip Nguyen, Master of Arts in Asian American Studies. Mr. Wynn's research examines the relationship between transgenerational transmission of the Vietnam War related trauma and ethnic identity development among second generation Vietnamese American college students. Congratulations. Hilary Nicole Aringo Pellegrina, Master of Arts in Asian American Studies. Ms. Pellegrina's thesis addresses the potential of social system and communities of care to provide social support and promote mental health management among adolescent Pinais. Congratulations. The College of Ethnic Studies has selected Alexis Andrea Adsit, Master of Arts in Ethnic Studies for special recognition. <laughs> Ms. Adsit's thesis is a field study that examines the power of performance for marginalized groups in the LGBTQ community. In particular, transgender and transfeminine women of color in the Bay Area. Her research builds on her work with the national arts organization Peacock Rebellion, staging performances that center the experiences of queer and trans people of color. Lexi is a national speaker, co-founder of the International Trans Women of Color Network, and campus director of Eros, Education and Referral Organization for Sexuality. She's the winner of the College of Ethnic Studies Queer, Queer Studies Graduate Scholarship and will be pursuing a fully funded PhD in Feminist Studies at the University of Minnesota. Congratulations, Lexi. Good morning and welcome to one of the best parts of our year. I will introduce the faculty representing the College of Health and Social Sciences. Please hold your applause until I introduce all of the faculty. The faculty mem members representing the College of Health and Social Sciences are Lea Bagastero, uh, Kinesiology. James Bagley, Kinesiology. Fang Yu Cho, School of Nursing. Sheldon Jen, Public Administration. Jocelyn Hermoso, Social Work. Carrie Holshue, School of Nursing. Mary Alice Kern, Kinesiology. Matthew Lee, Kinesiology. Jeanette Lee, Physical Therapy. Laura Mamo, Health Education. Alexis Martinez, Sociology and Sexuality Studies. Marty Martinson, Health Education, Graciela Orozco, Counseling, Tiffany O'Shaughnessy, Counseling, Sarah Palowski, Physical Therapy, Jerry Shapiro, Social Work, Emiko Takagi, Gerontology, Rebecca Toporek, Counseling, Patricia Van Velser, Counseling, Larry Vitale, School of Nursing, Linda Wanick, Physical Therapy. Jackson Wilson, 
Recreation, Parks, and Tourism. Darlene Yi Melikar, Gerontology. Please join me in applauding our faculty. Thank you. The following students have been selected by the faculty of the College of Health and Social Sciences to receive their Distinguished Achievement Awards. Yadira Sofia Aldana, Master of Art in Gerontology. Yadira's final project is a practical guide for organizations to create inclusive environments for Latinx older adults. Her academic accomplishments are dedicated to her mother, and her aspiration is for the one day to open a Latinx senior daycare center in the Bay Area. Congratulations, Yadira. Jessica Chen, Master of Social Work. Jessica conducted a qualitative needs assessment of first generation Chinese American SFS, SFS, SF state students to inform, it's not as easy as it looks, <laughs> uh, uh, to inform culturally sensitive intervention strategies for student success. Jessica was an AmeriCorps member, provided bilingual services for Chinese newcomers in elementary schools in San Francisco, and worked in a mental health clinic for Chinese families. Congratulations. <laughs> Caitlin Corley. Master of Public Administration. Caitlin's master project examines whether voting by mail increases young voters' turnout. She analyzed Wisconsin's restrictive voter ID law and offered policy changes that could protect vulnerable groups from disenfranchisement. Caitlin currently serves as the city clerk of Colma and is committed to improving governmental transparency. Congratulations. Maria Amihan Flores Crisostomo, Master of Public Health. Uh, Maria's research uses critical race theory to explore how the traditional absence of race in quality improvement practices in public health leads to lower quality of care for people of color. She has brought her experience to the Health Equity Institute, including the evaluation of Advances PATH program. Congratulations, Maria. Sandra Hahn, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Dr. Hahn's dissertation offers a meta-analysis of the cost, effectiveness, and outcomes of direct access physical therapy compared to physician referrals. She demonstrates that with patients with direct access, significant, that there are significant cost savings with equivalent therapeutic outcomes. Sandy volunteers at many community events, including the Good Leg Project for Adaptive Athletics. Congratulations, Dr. Hahn. Chelsea Jensen, Master of Science in Nursing. Chelsea has developed a survey to assess the quality of postpartum education at John Muir Hospital and produced a new postpartum education protocol which is now implemented in the hospital. 
During her time here, Chelsea also conceptualized an innovative student-centric initiative designed to alleviate stress among nursing students. Congratulations. Sean Jones, Master of Science in Kinesiology with a concentration in exercise physiology. Sean's thesis examines the influence of matching step rate with the filling phase of the cardiac cycle while running. Sean has presented his work at several professional conferences and has worked as a graduate teaching assistant and a lab coordinator. Congratulations, Sean. Emily Nichols, Master of Public Administration. Emily devotes her research to nonprofit management and environmental policy and the relationships between people, politics, and the natural environment. She views affordable housing as a foundation for social justice. She has worked for the Oakland Housing Authority for over six years, helping to find solutions to housing insecurity. Congratulations. Zulema Rivera, Master of Science in Counseling. Zuli's culminating experience proposes a program for migrant youth dealing with trauma and acculturation. Zuli has worked extensively in support of low-income and migrant families as they navigate educational spaces in middle and high school. Congratulations. Jack Schmidt, Master of Public Administration. Jack's culminating experience titled HB3 and the Needs of the CSEC Population in Kentucky provides an analysis and recommendations based upon concepts and practices in public administration to improve services provided to exploited minors in Kentucky. Congratulations, Jack. Lauren Stoll, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Dr. Stoll works in oncology rehabilitation and has presented her research on a negative pressure device in the treatment of breast cancer-related lymphedema at the largest annual physical therapy conference in the United States. Lauren's culminating experience offers a meta-analysis of the effectiveness of physical therapy on improving shoulder function in individuals with head and neck cancer. Congratulations, Dr. Stoll. Thank you. Margaret Amris Vong, Master of Science in Nursing. Margaret's research focuses on community health and the strengthening of families and communities. Her analysis of the Child Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act has led to policy changes with family and children's services. Margaret provides clinical preventive services to the homeless, the incarcerated, and low-income residents of San Francisco. Congratulations.
selected for special recognition by the College of Health and Social Sciences is Nico Starro, Master of Science in Counseling. Nico Starro's exceptional engagement in academics is matched by an impressive commitment to their internships, research with faculty, leadership in the Counseling Student Association, and work as a tireless community trainer for restorative justice. Over the course of their studies, Nico has provided individual and couples therapy at queer life space, facilitating support groups for intersex clients. They've also provided individual therapy and support groups at Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School and Pinole Valley High School for grief and loss, monolingual Spanish-speaking youth, and LGBTQ trans and gender non-conforming students. Nico has collaborated with Dr. Tiffany O'Shaughnessy to develop the client experiences of LGBTQ Affirmative Therapy Scale, which asks, what would clients notice if their therapy were operating from an LGBTQ affirmative perspective? Their research won an American Psychological Association's Outstanding Poster Award. Throughout their education, Nico has worked as an instructor for the International Institute for Restorative Practices, training principals, school administrators, faculty, and K-12 school staff across the country on implementing restorative justices practices. They will certainly distinguish themselves in their continued work in schools, building community, and providing accessible mental health services. Please join me in congratulating Nico Starro. Good morning. I will now introduce the faculty representing the College of Liberal and Creative Arts. Please hold your applause until I introduce all faculty. The faculty members representing the College of Liberal and Creative Arts are Priya Abarwikrama, English, Fatima Alawi, Communication Studies, Sarah Curtis, History, Mariana Ferreira, Humanities and Liberal Studies, Chris Finley, Art, Catherine Gordy, Political Science, Christopher Hansman, Women and Gender Studies, Mary Hulig, Design, David Landy, Philosophy, Martha Lincoln, Anthropology, Mahmoud Manshapuri, International Relations, Carlos Montemayor, Philosophy, Alexandra Pappas, Alexandra Pappas, uh, Classics, Julie Paulson, English, Kim Schwartz, Theater and Dance, Celine Shimuzu, Cinema, Shananti Gay, Creative Writing, Christopher Weinberger, Comparative and World Literature, and Wyman Zong, Cinema. You may be seated. The following students have been selected by the faculty of the College of Liberal and Creative Arts to receive the Distinguished Achievement Awards. Brianna Anthony, Masters of Arts in English with a concentration in literature. Ms. Anthony's extraordinary thesis maps a connection among Milton's Eve through Brianna Kiros to Emily Dickinson's verse. Amanda Bent, Masters of Arts in English with a concentration in teaching English to speakers of other languages. Ms. Bent's thesis project proposes an innovative curriculum for community college students that reimagines community engagement among adult English as second language learners.
Scott Joseph Campbell, Master of Arts in Comparative Literature. Mr. Campbell's virtuosic thesis, The Third State, Ethics and Agency Within Hybrid Narratives, addresses important ethical and literary questions about transhuman identity and narrative form. Daniel Chen, Master of Fine Arts in Cinema, winner of the prestigious Princess Grace Award in Film, Mr. Chen's thesis film, Sunsplitter, profiles a German-Turk dancer for an internationally renowned dance company, tracing his identity and intergenerational trauma through the lens of performance. Congratulations. Sierra Chilton, Master of Arts in Communication Studies. Ms. Chilton's research utilizes a critical rhetorical approach to consider the transgressive aspects of sexuality, performance, and effect on protest culture and tactics. Congratulations. Anaya Sisko, Master of Fine Arts in Cinema, winner of prestigious Princess Grace Award in Film. Ms. Sisko's thesis film, Drip Like Coffee, focuses on the complex love between two contemporary black women, unshackling its characters from social pathology and compassionately probing their humanity. Ms. Sisko is joining, is that Smith? Yes. Smith College as a tenure track professor in cinema. Erica Deandra, Master of Arts in Women and Gender Studies. Erica's thesis examines the 1976 legal case between New Seabury Corporation and the Mashpi tribe, tracing the intersections of settler colonialism, gender, whiteness, and leisure. Congratulations. Jack Darrow, Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing with a concentration in poetry. Mr. Darrow has successfully balanced his duties as managing editor of 14 Hills Magazine with crafting the impressive poetry of his thesis collection. Tasayara, is it Tasayara? Tasahara. Tasahara Keen, congratulations. Ai Ebashi, Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing with a concentration in playwriting. A poet and a playwright, Ms. Ebashi's work has been read and performed. Her thesis project, Janice, signals that she is one to be watched. Congratulations.
Nicholas William Eggert, Master of Arts in Philosophy. Mr. Eggert's thesis examines the nature of cognition and its relation to sense experience in the philosophy of Immanuel Kant. He has served as lead graduate teaching assistant in the philosophy department and will be teaching formal logic with the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth. Congratulations. Sarah Felder, Master of Arts in Theater Arts. Ms. Felder's body of theatrical work juggles personal narrative, circus moves, and social justice with a queer sensibility and sense of humor. For her thesis project, Sarah is directing Trifles, an early feminist murder mystery that urges audiences to examine their own relationship to gender and activism. Congratulations. Sandra Garcia Fraire, Master of Arts in Women and Gender Studies. Ms. Fraire's culminating research focuses on migration to the U.S. from Mexico and the Northern Triangle of, the Central, of Central America following the 1965 Immigration Act. Congratulations. Colin Giacomini, Master of Arts in International Relations. Mr. Giacomini's thesis research tracks the erosion of the United States' international influence to structural opportunities for the middle powers, such as Turkey, to assert greater regional power. Congratulations. Victoria Gray, Master of Arts and Humanities. Ms. Gray's thesis analyzes the suburb subversive religious iconography of Janelle Monet's 2018 visual album, Dirty Computer, to explore queer, futurity, and messianic time. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Shelby Hinte Rogers, Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing with a Concentration in Fiction. Ms. Hinte Rogers' thesis manuscript, Howling Women, promises to build on her publication record in various collections and magazines, including Witness Magazine, Hobart, and, the Qu and Quiet Lighting's Sparkle Plus Blink. Congratulations. Michelle Jones, Master of Arts in Museum Studies. Ms. Jones' thesis examines how university museums work with faculty to support student learning by integrating campus museum collections into their courses. Congratulations. Shireen Kalavari, Master of Fine Arts. Ms. Kalavari recent, recently won the San Francisco Foundation's Jack and Gertrude Murphy Award in recognition of her, quote, great artistic promise, end quote. Her art practice, which combines photography, painting, sculpture, sound, and video, creates transformative environments to explore the visual traces of history, including the legacies of colonialism. 
Congratulations. Matthew Mailer, Master of Arts in Philosophy. Mr. Mailer's plan to leverage the master's research on philosophy of mind and psychology to his legal studies to begin his coming fall, to begin this coming fall when he enters the JD program at Arizona State's Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law. Congratulations. Jennifer Meisner, Master of Arts in History. Ms. Meisner, Ms. Meisner has done impressive research on the confessional in early modern France and has been accepted to several PhD programs in history. Beginning in September, she will pursue her doctoral studies at UC Santa Barbara, where she will focus on her research, her research on themes of religion, gender, and identity in early modern France. Natalia Neelan, Master of Arts in Philosophy. Ms. Neelan's thesis research on the balance required for creativity between the epistemic virtues of sensitivity to relevant information and the insensitivity to irrelevant or detrimental information has garnered her an offer of admission to UC Irvine's PhD program in philosophy. Congratulations. Wendy Poling, Master of Arts in English with concentration in composition. Ms. Poling's thesis explores how resistant and compliant behaviors in first year composition students signal writing, uh, writing engagement and, often off and offers a new pedagogical framework for honoring the identity and authority negotiations that drive student engagement through writing. Congratulations. Stephanie Polos, Master of Arts in Classics. Ms. Polos' thesis explores the iconography of anachronic vases, sorry about that, in the context of the Greek symposium as reflections of traditions of crossing gender and ethnic boundaries in fifth and sixth centuries Athens. Congratulations. Sandra, Sandra Stephanie Polito, Master of Arts in Spanish. The first student in the Spanish master's program to complete a thesis, Ms. Polito's research examines the representation of sexual identity in two contemporary autobiographical novels. Ms. Polito will start working as a Spanish high school teacher this fall in Berkeley. Congratulations. <laughs> Michael Shanks, Master of Arts in Cinema Studies. Attending to the non-binary and multiracial body in the experience of film spectatorship, Michael's thesis advances new perspectives on film, sexuality, and critical race studies. Congratulations.
Chelsea Terrell, Master of Arts in Broadcast and Electronic Communication Arts. Ms. Terrell's thesis explores the tension between the explicitly positive social message of Nike's Dream Crazy campaign and the associated corporate appropriation of Colin Kaepernick's political message. Congratulations. Michelle Elena Thomas, Master of Arts in Philosophy. Ms. Thomas' thesis on consciousness, attention, mental health, and neurodiversity has garnered her an offer to join the PhD program in Philosophy and Cognitive Science at the University of Western Ontario. Congratulations. College of Liberal and Creative Arts faculty has selected for special recognition Lori Perangian, Master of Arts in Anthropology. <laughs> Ms. Perangian's thesis is an examination of the relationship between Armenian national identity and gender norms and the gendered violence in Armenia. Guided by critical fem feminist anthropology and drawing on legal cases, social media, and ethnographic interviews from overseas field work, her thesis interrogates contemporary Armenian women's consciousness in an environment unreceptive, unreceptive to equal rights towards women. Lori has received support for her research included by the Armenian American Citizens League and the Department of State's Title VIII Fellowship. She has presented her research at the conferences of the American Anthropolo Anthropological Association, the Society of Applied Sociology, and the International Conference on Genocide. Lori has served as a research assistant on two faculty projects and taught her own curricula on women's empowerment and gender equality in Armenia for the Society Without Violence and Peace Dialogue, Dialogue NGO. She plans to pursue a doctorate in anthropology. Please join me in congratulating Lori Perangian for this award. Last but not least. <laughs> so it is my pleasure to um, introduce the faculty representing the College of Science and Engineering. Please hold your applause. The faculty members representing the college are Teaster Baird, Chemistry and Biochemistry. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Matthias Beck, Mathematics. Laura Burris, Biology. I saw a few more, uh, Andy Zink Biology, and Blake Riggs Biology. There's a few that weren't on this list, but I'm gonna, Francis Wilkinson Biology, Karina Nielsen, <laughs> Australian Ocean Science Center, uh, Ellen Hines, Geography and the Environment, Andrew Ichimura, Chemistry and Biochemistry, Hamid Mahmoudi, Engineering, Ushi Simonis, Associate Dean of Research, and all other cozy faculty. <laughs> Thank you. The following graduate students have been selected by the faculty of the College of Science and Engineering to receive the Distinguished Achievement Award. Aniya Baki, Anaya Baki, Masters of Arts in Psychology with a concentration in developmental psychology. Anaya, 
studies the impact of microaggressions against people of color in the workplace and has helped to create Step for Youth, a social psychological intervention for elementary school age children, promoting intellectual safety and academic belonging. Congratulations. Chase Benson, Master of Science in Chemistry. Chase's culminating experience focuses on assessing residential lead levels in East Oakland. His work shows lead levels that exceed relevant regulatory limits. Chase has distinguished himself as a student instructor teaching five lab sections, community activist, and caregiver for his mother. Congratulations. <laughs> Jessica Bolivar McPeak. Matt <laughs> Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Jessica's research focuses on understanding the role of mitotic spindle rotation and the establishment of the cell division plane. This process leads to the generation of different cell types. Jessica is a fellow of the NSF-funded Center for Cellular Construction at UCSF. She will be attending the PhD program at UC Davis this fall. Isha Ujachukulkar. Masters of Arts in Psychology with a concentration in mind, brain, and behavior. Isha has researched how personality and purchasing decisions influence human emotions, behavior, and happiness. Her thesis is titled, Extroverts Savor the Behavior, Examining Extroversion on Positive Effect with Monetary Savoring. Sydney Ching, Master of Science in Psychology with a concentration in Industrial and Organizational Psychology. Sydney has developed an assessment tool that measures person-centered support in the workplace that can be used to target interventions directed toward improving employee well-being. Sydney also interned as an HR coordinator at Zymergen, a biotech company that uses machine learning to alter genetic material in order to generate new products. Master of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Ori is the recipient of a California Institute for Regenerative Medicine Bridges Fellowship. His thesis was focused on creating asthma patient-specific stem cell lines that can be used to identify the best treatment for asthma patients. Ori is an internationally recognized Greco-Roman wrestler. He is training to compete in the 2020 Olympics. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not done, wait. <laughs> he is also going to begin a PhD program at UC San Francisco. <laughs> Mm 
Vivian Enriquez, Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration in Physiology and Behavior. Vivian's thesis examines mutualism between the Hawaiian bobtail squid and its bacterial symbiote Vibrio fisheri. She discovered that the presence of this bacteria may influence squid foraging behavior and learning. This fall, Vivian will be attending the PhD program in Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the University of California, Los Angeles. Gretchen Hazel Ford, Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration on cell and molecular biology. Gretchen's thesis was conducted at Stanford University where she investigated the signaling pathways important in regulating coronary vessel growth during vertebrate embryogenesis. She developed a bioengineering lab for middle school girls in the Expanding Your Horizon conference. She is now pursuing her PhD in bioengineering at the University of California, San Francisco. Reza Dais Gafour, Master of Science in Psychology and Social Concentration, with a, with a social concentration. Reza studies mood and decision making. His thesis uses computational models to explore the underlying mechanism that leads to differences in choice profiles. Reza plans to spend a couple of years teaching before pursuing a PhD in psychology. Riley Ann Johnson, Masters of Science in Psychology with an Industrial Organizational Concentration. Riley's thesis aims to improve workplace safety by investigating how leaders influence the safety behaviors of their direct reports. Along with employee safety, her passions within IO psychology also include improving organizational effectiveness and employee well-being through the data-driven decision-making. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Miklish Nye wait, sorry, let me try that again. Miklish Nyker, Master of Science in Engineering, Embedded Electrical and Computer Systems. Miklish con conceptualized and developed a prototype chip that is designed to secure integrated circuits against reverse engineering attacks. Miklish was also an excellent graduate student teaching assistant and mentored many of our undergraduate students. Jimnanso Okuri, Mas Mas <laughs> Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Jimnanso's research uses epidemiological, toxicological, and big data approaches to identify the links between heavy metal exposures and adverse pregnancy outcomes. She's committed to serving marginalized groups, taking on many roles as a scientist, teacher, mentor, 
community activist and leader. Minerva Oriana. <laughs> Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Minerva's research focuses on mitigating stress among college students. Her thesis project looks at the biological responses to therapy dog intervention. Her community-engaged research earned her admission to a PhD program in biomedical sciences at the Mayo Clinic School of Medicine and Science. Jose Ortiz Costa. <laughs> Master of Science in Computer Science. Jose designed and developed an end-to-end -end question answering system that leverages web-based knowledge graphs to, uh, sorry, leverages web-based knowledge graphs to answer factoid and non-factoid questions. His work was published in a peer-reviewed conference proceedings. Jose has also been a dedicated research mentor for the Promoting Inclusivity in Computing program, also known as PINK, which aims to increase the diversity of students with computer science skills. Frederick Rodriguez Santana, Jr. <laughs> Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Fred's research project shows that WIMP protein signals are transported between cells by long specialized extensions called filopodia. As a member of the Society for the Advancement of Chicanos and Native Americans in Science, Fred helped to organize on and off campus events for students and community members. He will be attending the Tetrad PhD program at UC San Francisco this fall. Devon Shah, <laughs> Master of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Devon's thesis project investigates the relationship between nitric oxide signaling and early heart development using chicken embryos. His research demonstrates for the first time that nitric oxide signals are important for heart formation. Devon presented his work at several research competitions and conferences and was the winner at the 2018 CSU Student Research Competition. Congrats. <laughs> Miriam Valenzuela. Masters of Science in Biology with a concentration in cell and molecular biology. Miriam has been working on a project researching maternal and fetal immune cells during pregnancy and its role in pregnancy complications. Miriam is a member of SOCNES, which is the advancement of Chicanos and Hispanics and Native Americans in science, and she's also been involved in many community outreach events. This fall, she will be starting a PhD program at the University of New Mexico. <laughs> J. 
Jamie Rose Sibley Yen, Masters of Science in Interdisciplinary Marine and Estuary Science. Jamie's research focuses on phytoplankton productivity in the San Francisco estuary. Her research provides new insights into why phytoplankton are surprisingly sparse in a high nutrient estuary. During her two years as a master's student, Jamie received five fellowships and gave four research presentations. The CSU Council on Ocean Affairs Science and Technology selected her to represent the CSU in Sacramento for California's Ocean Day. Congratulations. The students selected by the faculty of the College of Science and Engineering for special recognition is Jody McWitter, Masters of Arts in Mathematics. Jody is the daughter and granddaughter of math teachers. Her stellar master's thesis research on Earhart quasi polynomials of coexter permuta. You know, I really practiced this for a while and I still didn't get it right. Earhart quasi polynomials of coexter permutahedra. <laughs> the more exciting part is it's going to be part of a research publication in combinatorics. <laughs> so Jody has also provided service to both her department and the profession. She's been an officer and a driving force for mathematistas a student group building towards gender equity in mathematics. She has also served as a teaching associate with the Department of Mathematics and helped launch a seminar series in which students practice presenting their research. Jody has been accepted with full funding to five different PhD programs in mathematics. <laughs> she decided to accept the program at Washington University in St. Louis. Please join me in congratulating her. This really has been a moving celebration in which we have recognized our most outstanding graduate students. And while we take great pride in their achievements, we have by no means been solely responsible for their successes. Without the love and support of families and friends, they would not be here to take part in today's festivities. Therefore, in honoring them, we also honor you. I would like the deans, the faculty, and especially the students to join me in applauding all of you. I've been in higher ed 46 years. You are my last graduate class, and I am really proud of you. That was incredible. This concludes the formal portion of our ceremony. A light reception has been prepared for all of our guests immediately following the ceremony. And I would like to invite everyone here to join us for that reception on the first floor of the Cesar Chavez Student Center. And signs will be there to direct you. And we look forward to meeting you there. I now ask that our guests remain seated until our students and faculty uh, have left the room. 
and will the platform party, the student honorees, and our university faculty please rise. <laughs>